Hello there, this is Alana Taki, and this is going to be the first of several tutorials that's going to help you with the Math 033 Yummy Graphs project. All right, so your first mission in life is to go out and buy candy and count it before you eat it or you let your children eat it. So you're going to purchase two different sized prepackaged bags of the same kind of multicolored candy, at least three colors. So for example, you could use one snack bag and snack bag and one larger bag of peanut M&Ms. Or you could use a single roll and then like a bag of sweet tarts, but you got to have them be the same colors, two different sizes, right? And you need at least one of the packages to have a nutrition facts information label. Whichever kind of candy you choose, you'll need to keep the wrappers and candies from the two packages separated until you've counted and recorded your data. So don't push the two bags together, leave them separate while you count them and record your data. Then you can eat them all and they can all go in your tummy or in the tummy of your children, depending, or your friends. All right, you open the candy packages being careful to keep them separate and you're going to count and record the number of each color in each package separately. Don't, do not discard the packaging material, right? Take digital photos of your candy and their respective packages and email them to your instructors. Also take a photo of the nutrition labels for your packages. Um, if you do not have access to a digital camera, then you can bring your candy in and your constructor, instructor could take a photo either with the document camera or with the instructor's phone, etc. Um, make sure you write down your name on a sheet of paper that way it makes it easy so um, if you're taking your picture you could have you know the candy bag sitting on top of a piece of paper with your name on it etc and then email it or um, you can have the instructor take the picture yourself i want to make a note about this so hold on one second okay if if i'm sending an email in this is gmail which is a free email service but if i'm sending it to my instructor alana taki right there and i'm going to send her the um candy graphs for a excuse me excuse me candy pictures for student alana taki huh i am my own student <laughs> so for you you could say, you know, your student name. Or, for example, if Stephen Tucky was my instructor, there he is, Tucky Stephen, then I could say, okay, I'm student Alana Tucky. I'm sending you my candy pictures. So here are my candy photos or whatever. And then you want to look around. And every email system is slightly different. So um, you're going to be looking for attachments. Hold on. In this particular one, it's right here, attach a file right there. So you click on that and it's going to say, okay, what file do you want to attach? And then you got to go search for the picture of the candy, wherever it might be. Right? It won't be a WAV file. It'll be like a JPEG file or a GIF file or something like that. So maybe it'll be in your pictures, etc. Okay. So you'll find the photos and you will attach them. Let me find a photo that I can attach one there. I clicked on a photo to attach and there it is and now it's going to attach this file which is 128k so if I send it right now my instructor will receive that picture um, different email systems have them different ways let me um, in Microsoft Outlook it'll be like a little paperclip symbol and I think it's that way in Yahoo Mail as well so um, you want to look for attaching a file and or a little paperclip symbol and those will help you. Um, I just showed you how to use Gmail because that's what I happen to have open right this second. Okay, then now that we've got that portion done, oops, you don't want my YouTube channel. All right, then we're going to go here to step two. So we will assume that you have gotten your candy, you've counted it all, you kept them separate, you wrote them down um, before you ate them. <laughs> And you sent a picture of those candies and their wrappers, especially um, the nutrition facts, to your instructor. And that you knew how to send that as an email. All right. Now you're going to need to open up Excel. And we won't have time for much else in this particular video. But we got to find Excel. Now Excel for me is right down here. It's this little green guy with the X. But if you don't have it there, I also have it right here in this menu. But if you don't see it there, you can type Excel down here in the search bar. And it'll show up right there. I have a Microsoft Excel 2010, and that's the version I'll be using. It works very similarly. No, you won't see that, so don't worry about that. It'll work very similarly to Excel 2007. 2003 will be slightly different, but it, it works the same in, in basics.